If you want an estate home on 40 acres, close to Healdsburg, and want to play golf at one of Northern California's most prestigious country clubs, there's only really one place to look, and that's Shiloh Estates. So Shiloh Estates' private community is a hidden gem which has full access to Mayakama Golf and Country Club, and has some of the best estate properties in the area, but very few people actually consider it. Healdsburg's Dry Creek Valley and Alexander Valley definitely get all the headlines, but homes on shallow estates are often better value for money and often have better views, so what's the catch? In this video, I'll tell you all you need to know about Shiloh Estates and why it could be a great option for you to consider. My name is David Hargreaves, one half of the Brewington Hargreaves team. We're among the top 1% of teams in Sonoma County covering Healdsburg, Windsor, Santa Rosa, Sebastopol and beyond. If you do want to keep in touch with what's happening in the property market around Healdsburg or find out what it's like to move here from San Francisco, sign up for my regular newsletter. I'll put a link in the description below. So let's dive into Shiloh Estates and why it isn't on most people's radars. And what are the best and the worst things about it? There's no question, one of the biggest attractions of Shallow Estates is Mayakama Golf and Country Club. But it was actually Shiloh Estates that predated the golf club. So I'll tell you a little bit about the backstory. The community was actually built in the 1980s when a local real estate developer, Marv Soyland and his business partner, Charles Schultz of Peanuts cartoon fame, they bought the land with a plan to create an exclusive high-end gated community featuring large parcels for equestrian use, for hobby vineyards, and just for general rural living. However, in the late 1990s, 675 acres, which had previously been designated for 31 home sites, was sold to develop an exclusive golf and country club. So what are the best and the worst things about Charlotte Estates? For many people, it's the golf course. It was designed by Jack Nicklaus and is often cited as one of his greatest courses and is a firm fixture in the list of top 100 courses in America. Members can play golf without even booking a tee time because it really isn't that busy. But you do need to walk as there are no carts allowed, although you do get a caddy to carry your clubs for you. So in addition to the golf course, there are definitely other amenities. There's a full restaurant, a spa, tennis courts, a pool, event space, and, and much, much more. And my Akama members are the only people who can use these facilities, so it's really never crowded. Of course, there is a cost to the two types of membership which are available, which are a full golf membership, and then also a social membership. The one-off fee for a golf membership is $110,000 with annual dues of $27,500, while the social membership has a one-off fee of $40,000 with annual dues of just under $10,000. And whether you're a golf member or a social member, you, you need to spend $1,500 per year on food, although it's pretty easy to blow through $1,500 at a place like that. Even as a social member, you're allowed to play eight rounds per year and can even have an immediate family member playing with you. So if you are an occasional golfer, this could actually be perfect just to be a social member. As well as developing the golf course on the 675 acres that the developers purchased, they also sold 31 home sites. They're about one acre each. And these homes are separate from what is now Shiloh Estates. Each of these parcels, which make up the Mayakama homes, has building restrictions that limit the size of the homes to about 4,000 square feet. And the most recent Mayakama homes sold for between four and five million. But to be honest, there've only been four sales in the last 24 months, so they really don't turn over that often. So this is where Shiloh Estates comes in. Firstly, there are over 60 homes and they share many of the upsides of the Mayakama homes, such as access to the Golf and Country Club, they feature the rolling hills, they've all got great views, they've got the private gated access, and they're also generally larger homes or on much larger lots that are up to 50 acres in size. There are a number of properties that have hobby vineyards planted, and many of the homes are actually well suited to having vineyard planted, but the landscape and the topography is more akin to rolling hills with studded oaks rather than you know vineyards as far as the eye can see. Another thing worth talking about is the privacy and security. There's no question that a gated community offers a level of privacy and security that often isn't associated with rural living. I know working with many clients from the Bay Area that the dream of rural living is great, but the reality of country living is a little different with many people concerned about security and having to deal with neighboring property owners that 
maybe don't keep their property as manicured as, as you'll find in Shiloh Estates. So what about the architectural style of many of these homes? So whereas the Mayakama homes are all Mediterranean in style, that sort of Tuscan vibe, the homes in Shiloh Estates are, are definitely more varied. For example, we currently have the only home available in Shiloh Estates or Mayakama, we have it listed at the moment, which is 300 Shiloh Valley Court. It's a 3,800 square foot home on 12 acres including the guest house and is, is listed at 3.25 million. This is more of a ranch style home and it's definitely one of the entry level homes for shallow estates which makes it a great option for somebody looking to get access to this community but at a, at a lower price point. Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm the other half of Barrington Hargreaves and I'm here at 300 Shiloh Valley Court, our listing in Shiloh Estates. This particular home is a single level ranch style home. It's a three bedroom main house with a separate detached guest house. Perfect for entertaining, overnight guests, extra family with all the bedrooms being en suite. Here we are in the backyard, which is perfect for entertaining with the pool and flat areas to host parties, have outdoor dining and enjoy all that the outdoor California living has to offer. So how much are homes in shallow estates? Well, there have only been six home sales in shallow estates in the past 24 months. And because of the difference in size and scope of the properties, the price range varies more dramatically compared to the Mayakama properties. The most expensive property to sell was a 10 and a half thousand square foot home with a pool, tennis court, and guest house that ultimately closed for 8.775 million. The least expensive house to sell was a 6,200 square foot home that needed repairs for about 3.2 million. In the next couple of months, we will also have a larger home coming to market, which will be nearly 9,000 square feet on 20 acres. And this includes a two bedroom guest house and it will be listed at just under 7 million. If you are interested in new properties we have coming up, please do sign up for our newsletter. I'll put a link in the description below. So if you have been looking for a wine country estate near Hillsburg and want something a little more curated with access to world-class golf and a ready-built community on your doorstep, then you should definitely consider Shiloh Estates. If you like this video, you may enjoy my other video about rural living in and around Healdsburg. And I'll put a link in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, go well.